I am surrounded by the best of the best. I think if you want to be the best, you have to work with the best. Um, behind me is Chris. Uh, Chris actually won my Hatch and Kutsia bursary a couple of years ago. And throughout the years, we've just really worked together so beautifully. And every single person that helps to put a Hatch and Kutsia garment together is absolutely worth their weight in gold. My studio is in Linden, Johannesburg. Um, I just love that it is almost like a quieter area where people can just come in and relax and just enjoy the experience of having a catch and could see a moment in their life. Um, I think it's really for us about making it as comfortable as possible for the client and Linden Johannesburg is the perfect spot for that. What I care about most in my business is really the client and the staff. It is so important that the one needs the other and both have to be so happy for the business to grow. I love working with women. I love working with fabulous fashion people that just wants to look and feel good. And at the end of the day, that is what I do. I am not a fashion designer. I'm a, a dream maker. And I think um, that is what I love about working with the people in the business and the clients. I design for the most glamorous person in the world. It is really that fashionista that makes the cameras turn. She is, or he is, or they are, used to cameras flashing so much that it could blind them. It is really um, creating a moment in life. And I think that is what Hatch and Kutsia does is. We just really wrap ourselves around your style and just create you as the moment and the focal point. For me, the most important lesson that came out of COVID is that um, less is more and also that we have to take care of the planet a little bit better. And that is really what I'm um, aiming towards as Hatch and Kutsia and the whole Hatch and Kutsia brand. Season after season, we are trying more and more to be more sustainable, but this just kind of escalated it a bit. The one fabric that we're using is made from plastic bottles that gets picked up on the streets of South Africa, spun into beautiful t-shirts, and then that will go straight into retail after the collections. Um, we are using tensile fabric that is such a great sustainable fabric. So it's just really massaging the sustainability of the, of, of the brand of Khatja and Kutsia. So that is the collection in a nutshell. And I wanted to bring across my roots from the farm. Um, so I got inspired by the cow print. Um, on the farm growing up, I was surrounded by Ngunis and all different types of animals. And I'm um, just really researching and understanding the meaning of the cow and how important that has been in South African culture and in South African history. Um, it was the one of the first symbols of wealth. Um, it was it, it's a spiritual link between the world that we live in and the spiritual world with offerings and things like that. And that just really invoked um, this beautiful avant-garde ideas that I had into the collection.